together. We're doing this video together, y'all. <laughs> also, I've adopted the phrase y'all or everyone, or I'm trying to as much as you can to avoid using the phrase you guys. Because, you know, we're not all guys. And I'm just, I'm just tired of this male predominant world and phrasing. You know what I mean? Okay, so anyway, this is how we get kicked out of Upper Goose Pond. <laughs> <laughs> hey oh, friends, man, I'm welcome back. Videos. Nice to see you. Uh, as always, um, I am just sitting here at this super nice shelter um, in Pennsylvania. Now we are getting to part two of our journey to Upper Goose Pond. Uh, we all three brought bags of blueberries. Me, Oh yeah, back to back. Uncle Iroh decided that he was going to sit there and laugh at us while we picked blueberries in the rain. And so he didn't bring any blueberries. Um, and also, I misspoke in the last video. So when you're a southbounder, you get to stop at the uh, cookie lady first. And you can fill up a whole bucket of blueberries for the cookie lady. And they will make you like a super, super dank burger or something. But obviously, because I'm a vegetarian, that I don't need that. I don't want that. So, didn't do that. But um, then you can also pick blueberries for free and take them to Upper Goose Pond for the pancakes for everyone. We did, obviously. And then if you're a nobo, you can, or northbounder, you can, you just get to go there and you can pick the blueberries and get the burger or whatever if you want for lunch. So, and we were like, let's, on top of bringing blueberries, let's also bring alcohol. This was Back to Back's idea. And Back to Back was like, I'm going to do trail magic on trail. And I was like, all right, sick, let's do it. So we were like, let's go get a freaking Franzia <laughs> bag of wine. So we went and got... Franzia, bag of wine. We hitched into town, got some wine, also got this, met this girl who gave us two beers each. On the, the person who picked us up, she was like, oh, you want some Budweiser? Here you go. Oh, whatever. Do you guys need some money? Do you need this? We were like, what? Her name was Luba. She was super cool. Moving on. We're at Upper Goose Pond. We've got the booze. We've got the bloobs. Bloobs. Blueberries. We get kind of shmammered. The guy's cool with it. It's like, this is fine. I walk up to uh, go to sleep and I trip on this brick step and I eat it. And he's just like, yeah, that, that'll do it when you drink in a whole bag of box wine. And I was just like, oh God, oh God, he knows. But he was fine with it and he was just kind of laughing at me. So I go to sleep. I didn't drink much water, and I, in the middle of the night, like, I got a top bunk because we got there late, and I never get top bunks. One, because I'm short, and two, because I pee a lot, and I'm kind of a, a mess sometimes. My second trail name is Calamity, because I'm always dropping something or hurting myself or this or that the other thing okay if you know me you know <laughs> so um I didn't filter my water so I just have a big bottle that's like crunching around that I'm like trying to drink water from in the middle of the night <laughs> and it's just like at like 2 a.m. and everyone knows <laughs> everyone hears it like we're all in a shared room and then I drop the bottle and then I pick it up and I drop it again <laughs> and like it was just I was just a calamity all night and we wake up and he's making the pancakes okay so he's making blueberry pancakes for everyone we got a lot of blueberries I think every single person got a blueberry pancake and there were like 20 people there maybe. That's like the pro probably the biggest shelter, uh, most packed shelter I've seen. Each person got two pancakes, okay? And so we're 
waiting in line and everyone's like, yo, lost and found, how was your water last night? <laughs> And I was like, I'm sorry, everyone. I know. It was me. I was the one making all the noise. Just trying to drink some water. And then the lobster goes, hey, how you doing? You okay? I was really worried about you. <laughs> and Blobster is the caretaker. I was like, oh, God. So we're all chilling. We eat breakfast. We're like, oh, we want to, we're, we're going to go down to the pond, hang out a little bit, and then we'll hike out. Well, double wide is convinced that everyone is gonna zero there he's like we're all staying it's like the, everyone meeting the group of like eight ish of us that we're all kind of like hanging out and vibing eight to ten of us he's like lobster's gonna take us to the store i'm gonna buy us all burgers and whatever and i'm gonna do a big cookout i'll buy you guys food if you need extra food and then we'll get some alcohol and it's gonna be great and i was like all right whatever I could zero here. There's canoes. There's I had to sign a little waiver. And he was like, the only rule with the canoes are, the only rules are, <clears throat> you have to sign the sheet, the document, and you have to take out a life vest. And there's only two people in a canoe at a time. Those are the rules. Each person, there has to be a life vest for each person in the canoe, right? So we're like, okay, right, easy, fine. So we take out a canoe, it was fun. And then the next day, we do a water run, and then we go to the store. We get two bottles, <laughs> and oh yeah, look at my finger, it's so much better. So much better. Oh god, did I tell you guys the story of me dislocating my finger? I did definitely dislocate my, obviously the finger that looks really messed up. Um, I can bend it this much now, and I can like almost straighten it. It's doing pretty great. Oh, but my thumb. Ho, ho, ho. Look at how healed up that baby is. Oh, wait. It's too... It's too... Mm. Well, the point is, you can't even really tell because... Oh, there. You can kind of see it. My thumb is super healed. Haha. -ha. So, anyways. Ben let's us get alcohol. He takes us to the store. And there's an alcohol store right next to it. And we get a bunch of alcohol. We get another bag of... <laughs> we get another box of wine. And bring the bag and two bottles of Captain Morgan. <clears throat> well, oh yeah, and Sobo decide to take the canoe out, and the bard decides to swim to the island. He's trying to learn how to swim. Then Uncle Iroh and um, double wide, decide to take out another canoe. Back to back and I decide we're going to try and swim to the island too. So we're all out there. We've already drank one bottle. We have the, the wine in one of the canoes. It's probably about half gone now too. And we're on our second bottle. <laughs> oh yeah. And Sobo. Oh yeah. Decides he wants to swim back. He asks back to back and I to take the canoe. Iroh and Double Wide decide they're going to try and race us back. But they're backwards, so they're just paddling backwards as fast as they can. Sobo and the Bard have gone off on a little trippy journey together <clears throat> and disappear. We're taking the canoes back. Iroh gets carried away capsizes the canoe. Now, the canoe and the alcohol and everything else that was in it is just floating around in the water, including these boys with a sinking canoe, and it's just chaos. And Back to Back and I are just trying to contain the chaos. <laughs> I'm like, okay, flip it over, get the stuff back, put it inside, don't let the oars fly away, etc. Um, <clears throat> I guess not fly away, float away. So, they get the canoe flipped over, then they accidentally re-flip it over, <laughs> and then they re-flip it over, but it's just full of water and sinking, and somehow we get it tied to our canoe, and now back to back and I proceed to, like, take everything else, we're like, put the rest of it in our canoe, um, 
Iroh is just swimming, not really caring. Double Wide is sitting in the sinking canoe, just paddling like a pirate. Like the scene from uh, Pirates where Captain Jack, like the very first one, rolls up with his sinking boat and he just steps off and has to, yeah, yeah, that, that was us. <laughs> so we're just, it's just a, a shit show. We're all screaming and shouting and laughing and drinking and we're towing in the canoe. It's sinking. He's sitting rowing. I was swimming. We have everything. It's just, yeah, it was chaos. It was utter and complete chaos. So we finally get ashore. Everyone, meanwhile, who is back at uh, the shelter is just watching us laughing and taking videos and etc. <laughs> Oh man, I gotta get the pictures. Other people took pictures of like all of this, so I'll try and uh, retrieve that and put it in the video or maybe show you all later. <laughs> we finally get back to shore and Bobster, the caretaker, comes storming up with his with his um, binoculars that are like strapped to his body and strapped on his chest and he goes, all right, where are your life vests? And I was like, in the canoe. And I was like, oh shoot, no one put life vests in any of the canoes. Back to back and I weren't the ones who took the canoes out. Sobo and Oya were, who were nowhere to be found. And Iroh and Double Wide were. And he's like, oh yeah, show me, show me. And I was like, oh, I guess they didn't put them in. <laughs> and he just goes, so you capsize the canoe and you don't have life vests. You need to get your stuff and you go. <laughs> we're like, oh shoot. <laughs> Sobo and the bard end up just being gone all day. We just have to leave and they get back and they're just like, have no idea where we are. Double Wide gets very upset and proceeds to like get into an argument with the caretaker. And it was, it was a whole ordeal. We basically are like pulling him away. We're like, come on, come on, we got to go. So of course, naturally, I left my Garmin and my headlamp. <laughs> oh yeah, left two t-shirts and something else, and Uncle Iroh left a headlamp. So, I mean, even though I am lost and found, and of course I was going to leave something, I wasn't the only one who left something. I mean, we were all kind of drinking and quickly just getting our things and leaving. So, we go. So it's a half a mile back to the trail. We get... Finally, after Vlobster and Double Wide are yelling at each other, and it was just complete and utter chaos, we get back to the trail, and um, Double Wide is like, hey, guys, I have more I have more stuff. And, like, and he's just trying to drink and hang out and party right there and, like, you know, smoke weed and whatever. We're just like, dude. I'm like, dude, we gotta go. And everyone else is like so drunk that they're like all right it's fine and so now we're just sitting at the trailhead it's like 4 p.m i mean we like it's actually no it's probably like 5 or 6 p.m and so it's about to get dark it gets dark around 8 oh my god so um we're sitting at the trailhead probably for another hour just being fools and we finally get to walking it's getting dark the boys are ahead Oh yeah, and and we convinced Double Wide to go south with us. <laughs> so now Double Wide is going south, walking with us, and it's dark. We don't know where we're going. We have no plan. We don't know where the next shelter is, so we're just going to cowboy camp or, you know, just sleep wherever we find, like, a, a kind of stealth site. We don't have water. We don't know where the next water is. And we're walking, the boys pass the first cell site, and I'm like yelling at them, they don't hear me. I'm like, oh god, so I finally get them to stop, and then I get ahead of them, and then I see a house, and I'm like, everyone stop. I'm gonna go get us water from this house. So I run over, run through the woods to this house, and I'm like, hey, I just like pop up out of the bushes into this, this guy's like working on his like tractor or something. I'm like, can we get water from your hose? And he's like, yeah, sure. I'm like, 
bike. And so I run back, collect everyone's water bottles, bring two people back with me, and we fill up everyone's water bottles and get back to the trail and keep walking. And so we ended up walking, I think, like four or five miles. And then we finally just like plopped over on the side of somewhere with like barely any room. Um, I have no idea what just happened. And Uncle Iro was like, was talking to the bard and the bard was like hey who has my bag of like weed and such things and double y goes oh i have it and the bard ends up walking north with sobo and now we have his stuff and a northbounder that's going south and then he's a southbounder going north <laughs> It's just like, I don't know how it all turned out like that. Um, we wake up, we walk a little bit, double wide ends up dipping out, going somewhere, never to be heard of again. Iroh has um, the bard stuff. And then, yeah, we find out that the bard actually is going north. The bard goes north for however long. We get into town, into Great Barrington. The next day, um, and nobody was motivated to walk and basically it was just no it was really fun it was a really fun time um and yeah then we basically didn't hike any miles the next day because everyone was dead and back to back bought a hotel room and we all just chilled oh yeah we never even cooked the burgers and so we all were just making burgers in the hotel room in the microwave <laughs> <laughs> he bought like beyond meat burgers or like fake meat burgers <laughs> and we just like ate a bunch of burgers what movies some weird shark movie the next day and ran 20 miles and i got super sick and it was terrible yeah <laughs> you're welcome thanks for being here i just saw uh, these I have crayons in the trash and i walked in to the shelter to freaking color me up some stuff look at there's card games oh my god